What's going on, everybody? For USA Muay Thai, my name is Nate Freeman. I'm joined today by the 2021 U23 86 Kilo IFMA World Champion, the 2022 Elite 86 Kilo IFMA World Champion, uh, the first American male to be an IFMA World Champion, the 2022 World Games 81 Kilo Gold Medalist, and finally, the 2023 86 Kilo U.S. National Champion, Aaron Ortiz. Aaron, how are you doing today? Doing good. How are you? I'm fantastic. Can't complain. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, a lot of fans of this channel and of USA Muay Thai should already know um, a little bit about you, but let's go ahead and talk about the 2023 National Championships. Um, you fought two fights. First, you defeated Simon Isaac uh, by a first round KO um, with a head kick, and then you defeated Chip Pollard in the finals, um, which is what seemed to be the most highly anticipated fight of the tournament. Um, talk to me about your experience at the 2023 national championships. Um, maybe some things that you learned and about the fights themselves. Um, the tournament was great. Um, it's always super well ran. Um, everything's organized. Um, and yeah, I, um, great fights. Uh, I was really honored to step in the ring against uh, Chip. Uh, he when I, I first started, um, I was watching him and Lion fight, and he was one of my favorite fighters. So that was awesome to step in the ring with him. And, yeah. Was there any sort of sense of um, I don't know? Sometimes people say that they get starstruck around people that they've been watching for a long time when they step in the ring with them. Was there any sense of that when you got in the ring with Chip? Um, no, not when I got in the ring with him. Um, when I watched him in his first fight, I was like, okay, this is, this is cool. I'm getting to watch Chip again. But, uh, when it came down to it and, uh, he's in the ring with me, it was just, just business. That makes sense. Um, so talk to me. Obviously we're moving on to the 2023 if my world's in Thailand, um, you're defending your 86 kilo a championship from last year. Um, talk to me about maybe what are some things that you're working on to sharpen up the tools and um, be the best version of yourself so you can defend that title. Uh, yeah, uh, me me and my team, we train very hard. Um, uh, we're always sharpening up, always getting 1% better every day. Um, so we just plan on putting in all the work we can and coming out with the gold Absolutely. Um, so then um, let's go ahead and take a couple of steps back. For those of you that don't, for those that don't know, um, can you just sort of explain what got you into Muay Thai and why um, you have made this your career? Yeah. Um, when I was younger, I uh, got bullied in school. And so my dad was looking for something for me to do to try to get my self-esteem up. Uh, I started with jujitsu when I was uh, like 10. I didn't really like it too much. And then when I was 11, I started uh, Muay Thai with, with Team Link Muay Thai. And um, since then I started, I really fell in love with the sport. And um, when uh, around like, when I turned 18, I had my first fight in the TBAs. And then I just kept kept going with it since. You spent more than half of your life at this point with Team Link. Um, maybe share some of your favorite memories with the team outside of maybe your accomplishments, maybe some stories from um, training or anything like that. I, I don't even know if I could pick uh, one story. I mean, it's always it's always a fun time with uh, um, they're like my family. The, the team is just a great community to be around. We're always having a fun time every it's it's really hard to think of a story because there's so many. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so then, um, was there a point um, in your Muay Thai training um, that you felt like I can actually compete and be good at the sport? Um, and if so, when was that point? Um, I. I would say like 
my first my first fight it was in the TVAs and I was uh that was very like iffy for me because it was a national tournament. It was my first one. I wasn't sure how how we do, but uh we came out with the with the win and um I just really I knew that I wanted to continue doing this and that I'm gonna work extremely hard to reach my goals. Absolutely. Yeah. Um so then coming back to to present day um you competed at the 2021 ifma worlds um in thailand um so this will be at least your second trip into thailand um what were some things that you learned from your experience the first time that you're going to be able to use this time because because i know um i've talked with some people and they just talk about how hot it is no matter if it's the winter or summer um and different things like that. What were some things that you took away from your 2021 experience that you'll use uh, for this one? Uh, I would definitely say the climate, the climate is, uh, depending on what time of day you fight it, uh, it can be really muggy. Um, so I'm going, uh, a few weeks ahead to acclimate to the weather over there. Just, uh, get used to it. Um, yeah, I would say (laughs) the weather for sure. Yeah. Um, so then let's go through just a few rapid fire questions so people can get to know you a little bit more personally. Um, a, what is your favorite striking technique? Uh, I would say elbows. I really like elbows. That's, those are always a lot of fun. And that's a very common yeah. answer for our more, for our Muay Thai athletes. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Um, your favorite book or movie? Um, my favorite book would probably have to be um it's breathed by um it's not, i think it's rice gracie yes i think i have it i have it in my room somewhere oh nice <laughs> but yeah um your favorite muay thai athlete and then if you if your favorite athlete overall isn't a muay thai athlete then your favorite athlete overall uh i wouldn't say i have a favorite uh muay thai fighter um because there's there's so many good ones i have a lot of uh yad which is one of the top ones i like yad which a lot okay um if you were not because you do muay thai full-time correct that this is your full-time job you don't yep if you weren't doing this what do you think you would be doing as a career I think I'd probably be uh, in carpentry. Um, I went to high school at a tech, um, at Worcester Technical High School, and my trade was uh, carpentry. So I would probably be doing carpentry right now. Okay, yeah, that that's, sounds like a lot of fun. Um, if you had any advice for either yourself when you were just getting started at Team Link, or for anybody that's just getting started into Muay Thai. Um, what would your advice be to them? Um, I would, I would say it's all about consistency, just training, um, just, just showing up every day, no matter how you feel, uh, if you're tired one day, show up, if you're feeling great one day, show up, it's always, it's about consistency and always putting in the work. Is there a dream opponent of yours that you'd like to face at some point in your career? Uh, right now, um, I don't have anyone. I just, uh, I'm just really, I'll just step in the ring with whoever makes sense at the, at the moment. That's fair. Um, okay. Well, um, before I let you go, I want to give you the floor. A, how can people follow you on social media? Um, B, how can people support you in your journey to Thailand for the 2023 IFMA Worlds? And I'll give you the floor to give any shout outs to coaches, sponsors, anything like that. Awesome. Uh, my Instagram is ALO.508. Um, and uh, my my coach is Ibra Rios. We've been together for, since the beginning, since me starting. Um, and some sponsors I have are uh, Pepe's Italian Eatery. Um, we have Ross and Sons Insurance. Um, we have Universal Countertop and uh, Unrivaled Training. 
All right, this has been Aaron Ortiz. He is competing in the 2023 uh, 86 Kilo IFMA World Championships. Uh, Aaron, thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing you uh, try to defend your title and hopefully bring gold back to America once again. Thank you. All right, thank you.